Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm showing you guys how you can make a Roblox thumbnail for free and super easily here in Photopea. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click new project. Make sure the width and height are 720 and 1280. Um, name the project whatever you want. Make sure the background is white and hit create. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a background. So I don't know if you have any of your own backgrounds you want to bring in. I'm just going to bring in one from online. So this is like an arsenal map, I believe. And if you copy and paste it, you can do that. Or you can uh, just drag it in here from your computer. So now I'm going to resize it. And if you want to know how to resize, you just want to go up to edit free transform while that layer is selected and you can resize it by left clicking on these boxes and then holding shift to make it do this rather than this. So now we have our background. Now let's bring in a character. So I don't really know how the whole rendering thing works for like Roblox characters. So I'm just going to bring in one from online. So here's this guy right here. Um, I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. Now let's add some borders. So go to your rectangle tool. Now just hold left click and drag across the bottom. Change the fill to white up here. So now hit control J on that layer. Bring that up. And now draw new rectangles for the sides. Like that. Now what you want to do is hold shift and select all of them. So click the top and then hold shift and click the bottom rectangle. Now they're all selected. So right click on them, go to uh, merge layers and now change the blend mode right here to uh, overlay and the border is a little bit big. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that layer, go up to edit, free transform and move each side up a bit. Hit that check mark. So now it's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is get some text. So go to your text tool, type in something. We're going to do insane. Now let's change the size to like 150. And let's change the font because I don't like this font. So I'm going to find something. So I found one called Air America, I believe. This one looks pretty cool. So here it is. Now just hit control J with that text layer selected and drag the other layer down. Change this one to kill streak or whatever you want. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Now what we can do is we can edit the text. So go ahead and double click on one of them. We'll start with insane. Go to gradient overlay, click in this little gradient box and change the black to a light gray like that. Hit okay. Now add a inner glow, change the blend mode to color dodge, spread and size, turn that up however much you want and change the color to white. Like that. I'm turning the opacity down just a bit. Now add a stroke and click the plus sign next to stroke to add another one. Let's edit the top one first. So when you're in the top stroke, change the color to black and then turn up the uh, size to like four and then go to the other stroke, change it to white, turn up the size to like this much. And now it's kind of on top of kill streak. So I'm going to pull kill streak down a little bit. Now we're going to edit kill streak. So double click on kill streak. Go to gradient overlay and we're going to change it to like a reddish color now. So we're going to go with like a darker red and then a lighter red. And let's make it a little bit darker. Now add an inner glow on this one as well. Turn the opacity up on it. The settings should have saved from the last one. So it looks like that. Add a stroke. Hit the plus sign. It's kind of the same process. Change the top one to black, but turn the size down again. 
And then you can change the other one to red as well. If you want to do that. Or you can keep it white. Move it down. We could even move the guy up so we can move the text up a bit more. Okay, so it's looking like this. Now the text is a little bit bland, so let's mess with this. So double click on your kill streak text or whatever text is on the bottom. Go up here to warp. For the style, we're gonna choose something like something like shell lower. Hit OK. So it has that kind of effect. And for the top one, we're gonna see what we can do. So there's a few options we could go with. I decided to go with shell upper and the bend is 7%. So it's not that noticeable, but it's enough to where it looks nice. You could even move the guy in front of some of the text to give it a 3D look. Now we're gonna start to make the picture look better. So go to the very top layer and go ahead and click on it. Go down here to this little half circle and click on curves. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to click the channel button right here. Go to red. Drag this circle using left click up this line and then down this line. Do the same thing for green up and down. And then for blue, we're going to move them both up. So it brings out the blues in this picture so you can see the difference. Now go back down to the half circle, go to brightness and contrast. Turn up the brightness, turn up the contrast, or turn down the brightness. You don't need too much brightness, it kind of, uh, it's too much sometimes. Now click on this half circle again, go to vibrance, turn the vibrance and saturation up a bit. So you can see the difference this is all making. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our background layer, this one. Go up to filter, blur. Gaussian blur and we're going to blur it out just a bit. So the main focus is right here. Now since there's a lot of blue in this picture, we're going to add some blue little dots around the picture, some lights. So go to your brush tool over here, go to this black box, change it to the sky. So left click on the sky or whatever, and it'll pick the color for you. So that's what color it is. Choose a soft brush up here, and I want the size to be pretty decent, like that. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, make a new layer. Start to click around the bottom of the picture a little bit. So there we go. Now I'm going to turn the blend mode to... We could try some screen. Screen looks pretty good. Multiply doesn't really... Yeah, I guess it multiplies pretty good. We'll do multiply and turn the opacity down a bit. So it's pretty subtle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some kind of sun behind this guy. So go to your brush tool. Change the color of the box to white. Make sure the size is a thousand and also make sure to choose a mechanical soft. Turn that all the way to a thousand. Make a new layer down here. And now just click behind him like this. A little closer actually move this make sure the layer is above the guy so it is on top of him like that so I don't know it just makes the picture look that much better and um, that's really all there is to this tutorial hopefully it's up to you guys if it did leave a like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one also this project link will be down in the description if you want to use this so just letting you know anyways have a great day guys peace